Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again, this time uh, with some real-world content. Uh, this is called Keystone Jacks in the Wild. And it's one thing to show you uh, Keystone Jacks being terminated uh, in a, uh, uh, an antiseptic, so to speak, environment. It is another thing when I can show them to you actually being used in a real installation. And in this particular installation, uh, we have a number of cables that are coming in from outside and they're running to a shielded uh, keystone jack patch panel and there uh, in that patch panel are a number of shielded keystone jacks. Now this happens to be a 48 port keystone jack patch panel so it's not completely full and so what's going on is these outdoor cables are running to various items outside like cameras, uh, Wi-Fi access points, also to another structure into another set of keystones and then to, into another switch. So from the patch panel, uh, we have patch cables and these patch cables are labeled and they're running down into these network switches. And these network switches control the entire network. And so what's one of the reasons why you'd want to set up like this? Well, uh, in this particular case, this network is being used to run uh, cameras and also Wi-Fi access points at a uh, motel. And so the equipment needs to be segregated for security purposes. So this is not where, for example, this is, this is not where the main office is. So this equipment is off in another space, uh, which is secured. So the main equipment is segregated from other equipment, and that is for security reasons. So uh, let's take you outside here and show you where some of these cables are running to. Okay, so inside you saw the cables were coming down a PVC pipe to a shielded patch panel. So they ingress through there and then they're running all the way to various devices. In some cases, they're gonna go to remote power over ethernet switches. For example, this one and that is basically what's known as an MPTL or modular plug terminated link. So the keystone is on one end and the RG45 plug is on the other and it's supplying PoE to a remote PoE switch. And then that switch is then distributing out additional connections and power to other devices such as, okay, so such as devices is these. That's an outdoor Wi-Fi access point and that is a surveillance camera. So again, those cables are terminated with RJ45 plugs and they're running power over ethernet and they're running backwards to the keystone jacks and then connect into the switch with patch cables. But there's also another variation I can show you. In the other structure, there was a shielded patch panel and keystone jacks and some of those runs actually come into another building and this happens to be the main office and there are some keystone jacks that are mounted into a single gang six port uh, wall. Uh, wall plate, I should say. And so some of these runs are connecting into a cable modem and some of them into an yet another switch. And then there's a PC that is controlling the uh, live view of the uh, cameras. And the live view, as you can see, is right there. So this is a great example of keystones being used at both ends of the connection because you've got a keystone jack here. And then at the other end, you've got another keystone jack. So that's called a permanent link instead of a modular plug terminated link. So that's the difference. And that's an example of where these things are used and how they, how they work. So I hope you uh, subscribe to our channel. If you uh, liked our content, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And you have a great day. Happy networking.